I recently had a client relocate to Charleston with three very specific needs in a neighborhood. They were to be close to an airport, close to a hospital, and close to Costco. And of those three, we found him a neighborhood that was the closest to a Costco above the others. And it made me think that there's probably a lot of people out there like yourself, if you're watching this video, that wouldn't mind living close to $1.50 hot dogs and bulk toilet paper. So I'm gonna go through around the areas to Costco's in West Ashley and Mount Pleasant with some of my favorite neighborhoods within a three mile radius. And if you're new here, my name is Bill Olson. I am your favorite YouTube, I'm your favorite Costco loving realtor. Let's, let's be honest, I actually had a $1.50 hot dog for lunch today. So I said there are two Costco's in the area. There's one in West Ashley and one in Mount Pleasant. So the one in West Ashley is going to be at the end of 526, right by the Citadel Mall. And the one in Mount Pleasant is gonna be in the northern part of Mount Pleasant, about two miles north of Route 41. So when we look at a three mile radius from each of those Costco's, we see this map here. This is everything that's currently for sale at the time of this filming. Now we're not gonna look down here on John's Island because while it's three miles as the crow flies, you've got to go all the way around. That brings us to about 275 active homes at this point. So how we're going to do this, we're going to go through price points. We're going to start with the top neighborhoods under 400,000. So we're going to start in West Ashley under 400 and the neighborhood that we have are going to be the Carolina Cove townhomes. Now these are going to be either two bed, one and a half bath, or three bed, two bath townhomes, and they are just one mile to Costco. So they are gonna be right down here where you see Parkdale Drive there, and Costco is right up here. So you're just about a mile drive from Costco. These units are actually under 300,000. So it does give you a great value right here, but on the other side, because they're townhomes, there is a little bit higher HOA, which is roughly around $500 a month. But it does get you super close to Costco, about 800 to 900 square feet on the low end to up to about 1,400 square feet on the high end. It's actually a pretty good value for this area because as you can see, you're still pretty close to downtown. There's a lot around here, but it puts you pretty close to Costco. Now, when we get over to Mount Pleasant, we have the Costco here. Now, our townhomes and condos over here are gonna be in Park West, and they're gonna be in the Battery subdivision, which is gonna be up in this area. These are gonna be one, two, and three bedroom units because they are more traditional condos, uh, like three-story condo buildings. Again, they're a mile from Costco. You can get in the high 200s for the small, up to 400. You can even go a little over 400 in here. There are some like townhome style units and some of the larger ones, but it is possible to be in the two and three hundreds in here, just a mile from Costco, anywhere from 700 to 1400 square feet. And you're looking at around 400 a month for HOA. And again, you're just about a mile here to get to Costco. Now, these are the lower priced ones, so what you sacrifice in this is going to be your size, of course, and your storage. If there's something that you need, if you go to Costco, that's a lot of storage. These aren't going to have garages or much storage inside, so you're probably going to have to take more trips to Costco, so it's good that they're only a mile away. Next, we're going to jump up in price, and we're going to go between 400 and 600. We're going to go back over, start in West Ashley again. And over here, one of my favorite neighborhoods in this price range within that three mile radius of Costco is Carolina Bay. So Carolina Bay is gonna be right in here. So this is a great neighborhood where it's a large master plan community. There's a ton of parks, there's three pools. There's actually a fire station right inside the neighborhood and there's walking trails everywhere. Now the size you're gonna get in here for this price range, it's gonna be between 1,500 and 2,500 square feet. And there's on the lower side of the prices, you're gonna see vinyl siding, and on the higher end of the pricing, you're actually gonna see hardy plank siding. There's also some townhomes. Most of the homes are gonna be three to four bedrooms in here. And there's also a brand new section. It's They're building it right now. 
it's going to take you a little over that 600. They start in like the, the base prices in the mid fives. It's Park's Edge at Carolina Bay. But on the resale options, there is plenty under that 600 mark. And you're just in a great location. You've got Costco right here. You're just right around the corner within that three mile radius. It might be like a three and a half mile drive to get there. Now, when we get back over to Mount Pleasant, because Mount Pleasant is a significantly more expensive place to live, we are actually still in townhomes in this four to 600 range. And that's gonna take us into Charleston National Golf Club. And back here in Charleston National, um, we are gonna get into the retreat. Now these are gonna be elevated townhomes. They're built over a garage. So in Carolina Bay, you've got a garage, you've got plenty of storage. Over here in uh, Charleston National, you have a garage in a townhome. So you have plenty of storage for everything that you get from Costco. They're gonna be about the two bedroom townhomes are gonna be the ones under 600 though. So you are gonna get something a little bit smaller. It's about two miles to Costco and your HOA is between five to 600 a month between the HOA and the Charleston National regime. And that's gonna put you back up in here. Now we're gonna jump up from 600 to a million and head back over to West Ashley. Now, I wanna let you know, Carolina Bay in this price range is still in place. So if you liked Carolina Bay, but you wanted something a little bigger, Carolina Bay, you can definitely get in there. So we're gonna talk about another neighborhood that's completely different. And that is over here where you see Ashley Forest and Avondale. Now this is an older, smaller homes. So, you know, rule of thumb here, the closer you are to downtown and the beaches, the more expensive things get. So you're going to see a lot of like, everything was built in the 50s, 60s, 70s in here. So you're going to see a lot of that craftsman cottage and ranch style homes. Uh, a lot of them are going to be fully remodeled for this price. And they're super cute homes, not that big. However, you're pretty close to Costco. You're right here within that three miles. But then there's a lot of stuff to do right here, Avondale Ashley Forest area with a lot of local bars and restaurants and shops and everything that you have going on in there. You know, home sizes, we're gonna start about 1,300 square feet. And then as you get up to like closer to the million, you're gonna get up to like 2,500 square feet for that. Um, but it's a great area, well-established, lots of trees, lots of different styles of homes and the remodeled ones are absolutely fantastic. And you can't really beat the location halfway between Costco and downtown. Now, when we get out to Mount Pleasant, this takes us into Carolina Park, specifically the village at Carolina Park. So Costco, which is, there it is, right there, is basically the entrance to Carolina Park. Now in the village up here, which is going to be this area over in here. Now these homes were built 2010s to the 2020s and total everything, which is Carolina Park, which comes all the way back here. We'll talk about this in a minute is about 1700 acres. It is a giant master plan community. And again, you're right, right at your entrance. You got to go by Costco just about every day. So Super convenient. It's right by Wando High School, which is one of the more popular high schools in the area. So if schools are important and you're looking at the highly rated schools and like niche.com or any other sites, you're going to have Wando High School popping up in there. You know, there's parks, lakes, green spaces. There's a pool. This is just a really great master planned community with some beautiful, beautiful homes. Most are going to be priced in that eight to 900 range. Now this takes us to the big boys, uh, over a million. So let's go back over to West Ashley and see a pattern here going back and forth. Now, when we get over here, one of the neighborhoods that I really like, I actually have a client building in here right now is called the settlement. Now I've got to get my bearings here. So the settlement is this little neighborhood right here. So we'll zoom out right in here by Ashley Harbor. Now, they're currently still building homes. Homes by Dickerson is building in there. Um, and then there's also some waterfront lots that are available. And these homes for an interior 
start at around 1.1 million and they're going to go on up to whatever you really want to spend if you wanted to build a custom home right on the water. And there's a community dock, there's going to be a community pool, three mile drive to Costco. It's just a cool little neighborhood if you want new luxury homes in West Ashley that's close to Costco. Costco's right here. It's about a three mile drive from there to there. You got to get downtown. It's just a great, great location. Now, let's head back over to Mount Pleasant and we're actually going to stay in Carolina Park. So there's two sections to Carolina Park. We had the village and then we have over here, which is Riverside. So I also have clients that built a home back here and Riverside is semi-custom to custom homes area of Carolina Park. The, in total, this is 525 acres of Carolina Park. And I want to pull up this layer here so you can see. So as we zoom in, um, it doesn't look green now, but this is Bolton Lake. And Bolton Lake is about a 20 acre lake in the middle of Riverside. And then Riverside also has its own pool right on the lake there. Again, leaving, you know, Wando High School here, and then you've got Costco here. So you're still very close. Prices in here are going to be between a million for the lower end, smaller, semi-custom, more production builds, all the way up to three million on a custom home. So a little different than the other side. They're all connected. You have your own pool in each side. You've got the whole lake to use over here. It's just a great area. And as you can see, like the Mount Pleasant side is going to be a little more expensive than over here in West Ashley. Both have some great options. Now, if you want me to shoot you over the list of anything that's for sale within these three miles at any given point, I want you to go ahead and shoot me an email at Costco at livinginchs.com and I will get that list right over to you. And in the meantime, I, take, I highly suggest you take a look at this video right here because I really think you're going to like it and I'll see you on the next video.